Get down. Get down. Down. Hey. I just finished with some clients. I did cardio. I did a lift, but it was honestly not the best lift. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes, even me, like I love to work out, but sometimes, like, it's, I wouldn't say it's a lack of energy. It's like motivation. I don't know what it is. Like, comment below if you guys ever feel that way where sometimes you just go to the gym, you're here, you're there, you're doing the work. But it's like your effort level is like a 6 out of 10 when it should always be like a 10 out of 10. Yeah. It's weird. Anyway, we are just under 12 weeks out. It is March 4th. I know I don't give you guys the days a lot, so. So yeah, it's March 4th and um, I just ate some mahi mahi. Four ounces with some spinach. It was good. But tomorrow, I might take a cheat meal. We'll see though. I'm liking how I'm starting to look, and I, I, as well as everybody else know, am a fitness coach, and I do understand the importance of cheat meals. So, what cheat meals help? They actually help you. They don't hinder you mentally. Physically, they help you because they increase your leptin levels, boost your metabolism, and if you're in like a sticking point, it actually can help you to have that surplus of calories. Um, However, I get like this. I get like this is during my last prep where I felt like I really had a handle on my diet and I was feeling great and then like, it was like show day. And after that I could eat what I wanted. And it's weird. So I feel like I'm at that point where I'm like, okay, diet is going good. Do I need a cheat? Mentally maybe, but like physically I feel great. And yeah. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to take a cheat meal. That's where I'm at. I like how I look. I don't feel like I mentally totally need it, so that's what I'm going to do. So, back from the gym, and <laughs> this guy, 
Hi, are you tired? Did you do 30 sprints? Is the bulldog tired? Are you tired? Yes, you are. You're tired. Hard at work. Hello. Currently watching Arnold's. And Adonis is checking on his dad. But we are having clean eating tacos. This is probably Sean's because let's see. Oh, there's only one gram of carb. Huh. Focus. Whatever. So there's that. Sean will be having that. I won't have any of that. And then this is like mango salsa, cheese I probably won't have, jalapenos, this little salad mix, and cilantro. And he dressed up the mahi-mahi. Oh, so fancy. I'm lucky to have him. And there he is, chef extraordinaire, man of the hour, the most handsome boyfriend in the world. Me? <laughs> I would cry. <laughs> you know, you know what? I wouldn't cry until I saw you cry. Then I would cry. <laughs> I don't cry. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Teary eyed. All the way at the other end. Small Squad goals. Second floor. Don't worry, there'll be plenty of people inside, so the guys you over there, but you definitely want to go. And it's not going to happen right after the end of this competition because we go immediately into pole fitness. The pole fitness competition with the most amazing athletes, the best in the world. That'll take place. Pole fitness competition. Out the awards to the fitness competitors. <laughs> Did you hear that? Thank you very much. Give me a big round of applause for your Now, we finally brought it to... The big TV from my iPad. And Prince, little Donis, is sleeping like a baby. Are you sleeping like a baby? You love mom? Are you a good boy? Yeah? You a good boy? Oh. Can you smell it? Mahi, mahi. Are we on vacation? <laughs> Sounds good. Big man, little taco. Yeah. Hey, honestly, very quickly, what do you think? You eat that taco, babe. First here and second Bite-sized tacos. <laughs> oh. You want taco? You can't have any. Get down. Get down. Down. Hey. I get my best, the poncho, I get the best.